I absolutely love that song. It is so good and such a great song. What's up, everybody? How are we all doing? Let me put the uh, sound on. All right, much better. There we go. Sound is on. We're going to do some Pokemon. How's it going, everybody? Happy Sunday. Um, Sunday Morning Spelunky will be back. <laughs> I just had to finish Pokemon because I really wanted to uh, finish the finale because we're pretty much at the final point of the game. And I was like, you know what? I can do that and then we'll do Spelunky like, you know, sometime next week. Um, next week being this upcoming week <laughs> when I was thinking about it. So we're good to go. But hi, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Happy Sunday. Thanks for being here. Thanks for coming in. We're going to play some Pokemon today. For Spelunky fans, I will be back with more Spelunky, I promise. I just need to get Pokemon out the way so we can enjoy some more uh, games. And also, I'm having so much fun with this run that, like, I really wanted to finish it. Like, I was thinking about it last night. I'm like, you know what? I could just level grind a bit. And by level grind, feed my Pokemon a bunch of rare candies. <laughs> and then uh, be set. So, let's take a look at the team. Not much has changed, except everybody's pretty much level 60. Yo, what up, Ryan? What's up, friend? How are you? Hope you're doing well. Happy Sunday. Good to see you. Glad you're doing well, buddy. Appreciate you being here, hanging out and all that. Hope you're doing great or having a great day. Everything's good on your side of the world and all that. Super happy to see you here, friend. So the only change the dragon I got was fly. Uh, I got rid of Gus because, like, Gus was doing his job, but we kind of don't need it anymore, so... Plus, like, I can have Fly, and Crowback can just, you know, hang out. Electro Buzz didn't really change much, level 60. Blaze can learn Dragon Claw, which is going to be absolutely great when I fight Lance. Like, we're just going to destroy him with three dragons. Well, two dragons and, like, a pseudo-dragon at this point. Salamance is all set. Not really changed. A really, really, really good special attacker with all the set. And his moves, so we're fine there. Lapras is really pretty much the jack of all trades um, of the team, which is really cool. And Crobat is just kind of chilling here, but it does no sheer freaking cold. Um, I didn't know that. Um, his accuracy is garbage, but I did not expect it no sheer cold. So here's what we're going to do today. We're going to finish up the island stuff, um, finally, and get going. And then from there, we're going to get like our 8th badge and all that. So, let's do this. Let's search prize. Man, yeah, my camera looks good. I was like, I should move it over a bit, but it doesn't look too bad in my preview. And then, of course, I have not ran into Ampharos at all. Um, I'm pretty, pretty sad about that. That's okay. <laughs> that is okay. We can have some runs where we don't run into Ampharos. That's totally fine. But I, I am a little sad about that. But for Ryan, everybody in the chat, let me know how you're doing. Like, how's your Sunday going? Anything fun? Anyone doing anything cool? I am simultaneously watching the playoffs, because for American football, <laughs> not the beautiful game, but the U.S. football, uh, there are three playoff games. So I'm watching the Ravens versus the Titans. Um, Titans have a really good lead so far. But for Ravens fans, and they got Lamar Jackson, so I never count them out. Um... We're pretty much going to sweep, like, a lot of these battles. That's kind of why I wanted to beef everybody up. I've debated making them, like, level 70, but I don't think that's needed. Just because by the time we get to the Leaf 4, it's going to be pretty simple. Also, I noticed on Discord, it shows that, like, I'm streaming because I think I have gamer mode on now. So that's pretty cool. Just another day working with the same old broken GBA. Oh, okay, um... I know, didn't you say you were gonna, is that one you're modding? Or is it one like you had and you wanna just add some stuff to it? Also, I have so much respect for people who can do GBA mods and stuff. I have always wanted to kinda try it, but I don't know where to begin. Um, I really just wanna make like an all black, all silver, and then I wanna make a New York Yankee style uh, Game Boy. With like backlight like that would be my ultimate one to make if i can get an all black and then a new york yankee style gba i would totally use both um maybe even like all gold one too wouldn't be bad like maybe like it should be the gold and silver i know there's a ton of people um like i'm on the gba like subreddits and uh, i follow a bunch of people on instagram who do mods and they're really talented uh i, I wish i could do stuff like that fortunately i can't but 
Oh, it's a frenzy BA that he killed by over multi. Ooh. Uh oh. Well, hopefully, like, you, I'm sure you can fix it. <laughs> you got this, but yeah, sometimes, like, that happens. That will happen, unfortunately. Like, I was thinking about getting a mod of GBA, but I got an analog pocket. Like, I don't know when I'll see it. <laughs> they say May, but... COVID and shipping, who knows? I'm gonna give analog... Not the benefit of the doubt, but, like, you know. I I'm gonna have a little faith in it. We'll follow Dutch from uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 and have some faith. Um, hopefully they can get it out by then. But still, in the future, I might... Hey, look at right you. Shout out to Ali. <laughs> um, in the future, I might do that. Like, I might uh, get a mod of GBA in the future or whatever. Like, the only modded things I have is, like, the... The classic systems, I have those modded, but I did those myself. Um, oh, and I have a PSP. That thing runs a ton of stuff, uh, which is great. Like, if I had a way to stream off that, like, I would do many playthroughs. I think there's, like, a way. Like, I could look it up, but honestly, I probably wouldn't do it because the battery isn't that good either. So, like, it would have to be on a charger every time I stream. <laughs> And like all the electronics under my desk, like cable hell under here. Um, Cause I'm streaming off my laptop, even though I do want to eventually buy and make uh, a streaming desktop. So I'm going to probably work on that in the future. I did look, there's not a micro center near me, but there is a micro center like in my state. So people were like, oh, like I kept hearing uh, people in the discord. Be like, oh yeah, like you gotta go there, like build a PC, and I'm like, I just want something to run decently, and that has a lot of storage. If I can get that, then I'll be fine. I don't think we need the storage units for my loading, honestly. So yeah, what else happened? Um, I found a new Pokemon like hack I want to play, uh, Crystal Clear. I didn't know it existed until. I looked it up and it's absolutely good. So we probably won't play that like right away because I'm finishing this up. And then Dragonite, are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me, Dragonite? How you missed that? Come on, so. Come on, so. Anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll probably play that in the future because the reason why I'm not going to play it right away, uh, Scott Pilgrim is like coming out this uh, week and I'm playing a ton of that um, I promise I still play Spelunky I promise I just had to take a little break uh, from it you know, I do that sometimes with games that I love it's like if I'm either playing it too much or I feel kind of burnt out I'm like you know what I'll take a little break so and, and it's only been like a week it's only been a week <laughs> but yeah uh, Spelunky's still going of course and then Cyber Shadow is the week after, so I'll be playing that. That looks really good. Like, Yacht Games makes outstanding titles. And when I found out that was coming to Switch, I 100% went, alright, I'm down. Um, already. I was already kind of bought because of Yacht Games. Like, I love their, uh, like what they do with games and just how much effort they put into them. Oregon 2. out of Porygon too. Like, it's one of those Pokemon that looks really cool. There's just something about it. I'm like, you know what? I, I vibe with that Pokemon. <laughs> Let's 
stomp. I think Ruff's gonna do damage, so we're good. Yep. And we're good to go. Head on over here. See what this item is. So this area right here is actually one of my favorites. If you're playing the base Pokemon Fire Red, where it's not randomized or hacked or anything, um, this area is really good for level grinding. Like, really good. Also, I'm jealous that she has a Trap Inch. I want a Trap Inch. <laughs> I want to run into a Trap Inch. Because if I, I mean, if I get Flygon, we're just going to run the three Dragon Team that I've always wanted. Um, do this. Do this. But yeah, basically, like, once you get eight badges, I think their levels go up to the 50s. It's either 50s or, like, high 40s. Heal bell, man, we're good. And honestly, you can do so much with, uh, like, leveling up there, which is nice. Please kick. Whew. Ah, ha, 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 gotcha. Gotcha. What the? Wow. Let's buzz. You finished the job, friend. I have a full store, I can just kind of burn it real quick. I'll do this. Oh, yeah, it's not a double battle? That's not bad. Yeah, if you have the VS Seeker and you go here, um, you can level up a lot. Is it, and you can just heal in there. So, like, I used to do that. Uh, it's even better if you have the Lucky Egg. Like, it cuts your level grinding in pretty much half. Uh, but I remember when I played Fire Red, I spent, like, a whole afternoon here um, to get everybody up to, like, the mid-60s just to kind of get you to Elite Four. You don't really have to level up too much in this game, uh, personally. But, like, I remember I did the rematch, and then I kind of came here and just leveled up for a while. Ember Spa, Elite Music. Alright, 
she's becoming the agent of change. She's like, the spa makes her feel younger. You know what? That That's honestly a five-star review right there. Like, <laughs> you, you can't, you can't beat that personally. Have to fix that real quick. Right, everybody has a cool Charmander. I respect it. Look at the greatest starter in the world. Look at him. Just chilling there. I right, take him out though. But it's all right. It's all love. It's all love, Charmander. Okay, I need a Pokemon of no strength. Well, damn. Nah, I'm good. <sighs> now, Blastoise is in the PC and I can't activate it. Everybody moveset is too elite. I could get a, rid of Blast Burn off someone. And I'm thinking probably Salamence. Because we don't need two Pokemon with it. Hmm. I think Electro Balls could benefit from it more, so I'll teach it to Salamence. It's not a big deal. We're at the end game anyway. <laughs> Also, the music here is so like calm but like eerie at the same time. Uh, it's one of my favorite like places to uh, to visit at times. Right, turn. Yeah. That's all right. We can get a battle. Game. So we'll do this. Um, I think, honestly, I'm just doing this to see, uh, I think Moltres is up there. But it won't be, uh, you know, Moltres anymore. It'll be some random Pokemon that I was like, you know what, it might be worth it. Holy shit, what I found in the German form last night was right. Oh, wait, about what? I missed that. What'd you find in the form? I totally missed that. <laughs> What'd you find? I don't need two of the three power rails in my game of color to make it work with an IPS mod screen. Oh, dope. That's awesome. Not bad, not bad. All I need is the three volt and the five volt rail. Sweet. That's good. I always love that personally. Meaning that GBA work. Hey, look at you. All right, man. Good. 
That's all. I mean, and like that saves a lot of time too. And that way you can just make it work. So you're good. I mean. Okay, you might as well see Moltres. Let's get this battle just a little bit. Man, I got Selby, yo! What you doing with the GOAT Legendary? There we go. Selby about to mess me up. <laughs> I lost that widow. Such a good legendary Pokemon. Got so much love for some of it. Alright, we got ooh, oh Dust Gold Pokemon. There's like it's Sprite and this one is actually really creative. Like, I like it a lot. catch it because uh, I actually like the snow right line. Uh, Frost Slash is a really good addition too. Unfortunately it's not in this game but it's solid. No but dude I'm happy it works for you. I'm glad your Game Boy is like you can make it work and save it. I'm not gonna pass on the second free legend, you know. The ox is just chilling here and you know the fiery path and all that. There we go. Ladian, I remember I was so hyped because Ladian looks so good in Gen 2. So I used it and realized, unfortunately, it suffers from what I call looks great but is actually trash. It made me sad. Alright, so this will be Moltres, but it also will not be Moltres. It will be a random Pokemon. Who is it? Absolutely catching that. That's funny as hell. <laughs> that is hilarious. Well, we call it the legendary centric, y'all. <laughs> Not every day you think you see a Moltres and this adorable squirrel is just sitting here, towering over this island, saying that it rules everything, including the people. Oh, that's hilarious. I absolutely made my Sunday. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, let's move up there. Okay, let's go to, uh, I think I need to go to Two Island and Three Island. Cause I totally went ahead by accident, thinking I was further in the plot, and I wasn't. I can't fly off of... Sometimes Pokemon logic, sometimes Pokemon logic. You can fly here though. You just cannot fly off the top because it's too high in the sky. Got it. <laughs> All right, let's go in. The game kind of guy's gonna be here.
How about House and Kanto? Right, who cares? What Pokemon are here? What the? Are there no Pokemon here? <laughs> uh. Alright. I guess not. <laughs> cool. That's weird. I could have sworn there'd be like at least one will pop up. I just like how in Pokemon there's just these biker gangs causing problems. We'll take them down. As always, in every Pokemon game, it's up to a 10 to 15 year old to save the day. Pokemon in anime and in life. The children of the future. <laughs> also, I find it kind of funny this biker had a Klaffa. I was like, yeah, I'll take you down with my Klaffa. I'm like, alright. Not like, you know, Gyarados or Onyx. The adorable but menacingly evil Cluffer. Respect it. Okay, Makey. Friend of the squad. I respect him. Pokemon. Oh, that's before. Okay, listen. This guy is cool. Look at him with the goat evolution. I respect it. That's why we put. Look at that. Level 61 Dragonite. Didn't get one shot. It was like, hey, I'm ready for war. And took two shots. You gotta love it. Save the day. So now we just gotta get LaSalle. Save her, which, um, the puzzle for that isn't too confusing. You do need cut, though. And, um, I think the PCs are still down. It might work for this island, but for one and two, it was down. Yeah, there we go. And I think Trico has cut. Mm -hmm. 
shortcut. No pun intended. All right. Who is it? Who is the Pokemon? Farfetch. Okay, you know what? Farfetch is a friend. Uh, I'm so glad he got an evolution in Sword and Shield. Um, I think I was talking about it for a while. He was one of the few that, from Gen 1, that got nothing. Like, no Evo, no Preform. Like, I feel bad for the dude. But now... Uh, I do like the new Evo it got. It looks really cool and really impressive. So. And it got a Galarian form. So Farfetch, like, Game Freak was like, listen, not only are we giving you an Evo, we're giving you a new form, which I'm glad he got some love. So much so he popped up twice. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> I took one step. Hey, Squirtle! Okay. She can join the team. I do have Blastoise though, that's alright. Can get it for the decks. To go save the world, man. Gotta do it. It's up to me. Pokemon Trainer Red. <laughs> Looking for my phone for a second. Gotta attack real quick. Send the text out to the fan. And we're good to go. Apom. I've been seeing a lot of Apom in this run. Don't mind that. It's just, it shocked me. Of all Pokemon, Apom would be heavily represented. <laughs> I think that was pretty cool. of the worst. <laughs> Just, I have such a beef with Hypno, personally. I, I can't vibe with it. The Bay Force. I love the new additions they added. Uh, like the islands themselves, but Berry Forest was cool. There were so many like different places I liked. Mr. Mime. I don't know how I feel about Mr. Mime. I, I grew to appreciate Mr. Mime because Mr. Mime is absolutely horrible. I was like, what is this thing? <laughs> the only good thing about Mr. Rhyme is like the means of people calling him Mr. Crime. When I'm holding like a gun, it has been tears. <laughs> That's a funny crap, but aside from that, I'm not a big fan. <laughs> Chestoberry. Oh yeah, Rom's a nightmare. Yeah, it's just, it looks weird. And it's just like, I 
was like, I can do without this existing. Hell yeah, my kid! Oh, absolutely get in the party, fam. Absolutely do I like mud kids. Of course I do. I'm about to level this up. We might have a late member to the team. Mud kid is so cool. But yeah, I agree, right? Yeah, it's it's just it's a weird Pokemon. It's not even like weird and cool. It's just it, it's I don't know. Mr. Ron freaked me out. Still does, but. I got a little height when I saw like you know the yellow, but a little too big for Ampharos, so. Metric is cool. Metric is another Pokemon that like its design is great. I just could not for the life of me use it. Be like, yeah, I could do it. I told Garnevar Thunderbolt, and it was pretty much my electric psychic type. Um, doing Gen 3. I'll look at one more Pokemon. Pinsir. Okay. Makes it would make sense for Pinsir to be here to show. Like, I feel like Pinsir and Heracross, um, I don't know why I feel like. Not that they would be evos of each other, but like, I feel like they would... No, I kind of feel like, yeah, they would be connected to some ways, Pokemon. I was kind of shocked they weren't. Like, even in the decks right now, they popped up next to each other in the forest Pokemon decks. Alright, there she is. Alright, what is this scary Pokemon? What the heck is that? Hmm. I wonder what popped up next. Oh. Well, okay. Gallade is like. It's not scary, but. <laughs> I can see why a kid would be scared of it. <laughs> it is just this floating, like, ice rock, so I get it. <laughs> but in a real game, it's Hypno. The Hypno is worse. So I, I can understand that child being like, no. Hypno is such a creep. Get it! We saved the city. <laughs> Moonstone, nice right, man. Thank you so much. All right. So we we'll get us the Bill and Silio, and then. I am ready to get my 8th badge and ready to fight this Elite Four, everybody. That was a nice little side quest. Now we get back to the main game. And it is time to fight the mystery gym leader, which is Giovanni. Um, at his uh, if gym. So I'm not even. I'll heal up, but there's no prep needed. It's kind of like the final moveset for everybody. And then from there, we'll kind of talk about. Um, Victory Road and the Elite Four and all that. Spoilers? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I remember, like, it wasn't in this, but on the trainer card in uh, red, blue, and yellow, like, when they showed the, uh, like, image, it's just literally a question mark. But it kind of looked like him, so I was like... It reminds me of a certain anime that I won't talk about, because I don't want to spoil that for people, but... Certain uh, yellow hair character, uh, 
Yeah, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I was like, how did no one make that connection? But... <laughs> Kinda like not rush through this, but it's a little bit better because it's six. It's six Pokemon, so it's all right. I won't use the speed up too much. I just kind of want to get through those two. Smoke screen. <laughs> it it, it kind of could be. Oh, Swift never. Mi oh, Swift never misses unless you can fly up. You have the Entei? Okay. Okay. You gonna do that? Why did he. And so it was so nice, he, he healed me. I mean, I don't think it took damage, but... Thank you, Ente. Appreciate that. This Pokemon is absolutely weird. Like, it's such a weird life Pokemon. Awesome chest roll. 10 to 10. Oh, it's tied. Okay. Got a tie game, everybody. Goes watching football. Right, 63. Let's go Dragonite. A loop. Why does everybody have, like, legends showing up? Hello, friend. Uh, Swords Dance and Hit Flash. Actually, we can Swords Dance and stop it. Okay, Logia, jeesh. Let's wrap it up. Bump, bump, bum, no, no, And a hit ball chat. You know what? Such a weird team. <laughs> Gotta respect it, though. I didn't even know Polly Raph from Shock. I'm absolutely shocked you on it. Arena. Clean Pokemon. Very clean. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, it was kind of going to happen anyway. Still let Dragon Eye sweep even with the poison because he deserves it. A gloom. Alright, we're done. <laughs> we're, we're, we're done here. Level 50 gloom. Not even a Vire Plume. Not gonna evolve that thing. Come on, man.
There it is, badge number eight, everybody. We did it. Thank you for the earth badge, friend. And the fox out. Fox stacks? Okay. Even though he could have dropped 10. Like, it's the last battle. <laughs> Giovanni was the leader of Iridian. Same. Absolutely. I, when I was a kid, I really was like, it could be anybody at this point. I thought it would be Professor Oak, like jokingly. I was like, what if it was Oak the entire time? He's just chilling here. Because I mean, like, it, it, for me as a kid, it made sense. He was chilling in Palette, which is literally a walk to Viridian. Um, you know, he's being a professor, but I'm like, it probably isn't him. And then I'm like, it could be Bill. It could be like. Pretty much anybody, but then when I saw the see Giovanni, I'm like, all right, that kind of makes sense. All right, so um, the only thing I have to do is get Blastoids. Now, we'll level up Blastoids, but it's not really going to be used, so he can kind of stay at 40. And then I'm just going to save the game, and then from there, we are going to fight the Elite Four and wrap this up. Then we got our last rival fight, uh, which is always kind of fun. Uh, I'm kind of interested to see how Blue's team is. Uh, especially in randomizers, you find some like hilarious combos with your rivals. Uh, it's really nice. Do that for old time's sake. All right, Blue, what's up? All right, Team Six, Venom off. Okay, I'm not mad at that at all. that thing a set tile bro what are you doing free set tile Crowbat, no go bat. Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay, this is hilarious. I was expecting like a le I know he has a Kyogre. Um, also, his star is Teddy Ursa, and I did not see it. It could be one of these next two. I think it might be Kyogre and Teddy Ursa. Mars Tom. Isn't that box of starter? I mean, I did the same. I didn't expect that. But why isn't that a Swampert, man? What are you doing? And admit, oh man. Dragonite took one else of damage. I mean, mind you, I am like over 10 levels higher, but. Yeah, he boxed a starter. I'm in shock. I thought I'd be the only one to do it. But... Oh, no, no, no. This is it. It evolved. Right, cool. I was expecting a level 53 uh, Teddy Ursa. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I really was expecting that. Okay. 
Okay. And that is it. That is the final blue fight. We have done it, everybody. Alright, so I always love how he's like, you need more practice. I'm like, sir, you got swept by my Dragonite. You need to see the rest of my team. <laughs> I am so ready for uh, the Elite Four. I'm also curious to see what Pokemon I get randomized because sometimes it can be they get some demons too. Um, I think the Emerald Leaf Four was pretty tough because I think for that I went in a bit over level, but not as much as I did here. And like I was debating, I'm like I could get everybody to 100, but honestly, why why wait through all that? Like watch it all. Hang on. <clears throat> I had to like cough and almost sneeze there, so I grabbed my nose for a second. There we go. Hey, look! It's all my night. All my night. I gotta know what Pokemon is. Please let it be Ampharos. Torchic. That's okay. Level 40. Jeez. Now, I could get Max Repels, but, you know, with this being a randomizer, why, why do it? Why not show everybody the amazing Pokemon that we can run into? Because, um, you know, Victory Road, I actually like the Victory Road a lot um, compared to other Victory Roads. Like, this and Gen 2's Victory Road are pretty solid. Badger to Earth? We're good. Oopa! Lots of strain puzzles. Alright, pass on Tentacruel, we're good. Repel a bit if the Pokemon get pretty repetitive. It is good to see the homie Squirtle. I already got one, but I appreciate him. Alright, there we go. I got no beef with Hop It. Not one of my favorites, but I don't feel like strongly against it. doing my Pokemon ratings because I'm like it's either there's a Pokemon I'm like yeah I really love this or it's horrible or it's okay <laughs> it's like no in between it's one or the other okay I right, got a uh, blaze again but it's good to know Kabuskin was just chilling here I am so pissed I have not ran into Ampharos or Mareep or Flaffy not anyone from that beautiful line of sheep. It angers me. Like a lot. <laughs> I've not ran into him at all. My hair is 
growing so fast. Like, um, I look back at my past range whenever my hair is like low and it doesn't like fizz up too much, but when it's like growing, it's the worst. <laughs> like I like it, but I really love my hair is like a little shorter. Thankfully, it's not in the worst state. In a couple months, this will this in my beard will be just everywhere. Hey, it's right you. I gotta catch Raichu. I, I can't. I can't pass on Raichu. Come on. I can't do that. Got him. Ludicolo is a cool Pokemon. I think I used a Lotad in my Emerald Run a while ago. I forgot why I boxed it. I think it's because I had... I think I started off with Swampert. And I had Belloom, so there was kind of no need for it. Because those two kind of just, you know, separately did what they needed to do. Which was nice. Not every day you run into an attack. I gotta do that. Just chilling. Everybody's been chilling the Victory Road. Like I, I like it. Victory Road's a hot spot to be at. All the legends are there. All the Pokemon are there. Except Ampharos for some reason. Now that's an encounter. Word. <laughs> Absolutely right. I think I have more Seth Suizu. Um, Cause I caught Raikou just chilling. Like he was just there. Um, popped up like out of nowhere. Right you again. Okay, so no one out. So if this game if this game is listening. <laughs> Ampharos, where is he? I need to know. I, I went off stream kind of looking for him, could not find him. Um, I was hoping to like debut him as a member of the team today, but I cannot find him. Also, I do not really want to battle him. Like, at all. He's kind of popped up in my personal space, so that's up. Oh my god. <laughs> Atkins. Okay. I don't think I need to speed up that much for That you did, Vincent. That you did. Uh, let me check and just make sure there's nothing else up there down there. Alright, Ante. <laughs> Listen, man. You keep popping up, I, I will catch you. I, I kind of like it'd be fun to see someone do like a team of legendaries, um, or run them, or like the same type of legend. That'd be hilarious. Nah, ain't worth it. I have that poor Roselia yeah, it was so good like it helped me out the first like episode of this like when I did a three-hour run but after that I was like I kind of benched it I felt a little bad but I, I wasn't gonna use it it's nine tails all right miles in honor of you friend I will catch it
Alright. Oh my god. I keep seeing Slack off the entire time. Slack off, Apom, like even Entei for some reason. They have been regulars on us. Which is pretty cool, but. <laughs> yeah, I did not expect to see them that much. Good here. Um, yo, Metagross. Okay, now, now we got a Pokemon. Now this right here, absolute, absolute gem. Ten out of ten. Might uh, might, I might. You know what? That might be the last member of the team, unless Ampharos pops up. Then yeah, Metagross will be on the bench. Yeah, boy, Metagross. Metagross is the homie. I grew to really appreciate Metagross late in Gen 3, um, but I absolutely, like, love Metagross. It's so cool. It's shiny. is great. It's just Beldum takes forever to hatch. Like, I was shiny hunting the Sword and Shield. I think I have a shiny Beldum in home I bought over, but I kind of want another one, but it's such a damn hassle to do. Only the Chosen can pass here. Oh. Man's looking for the Avatar. <laughs> Team of five. No. Done. We, we got some good Pokemon. I don't want to deal with Team Five. Torture. Okay. You know what? This dude has a squad. I'm not gonna lie. This is a really like viable team. Just gotta make that toy chicken blaze again, my fam. And then you good. And my, he has a squad. Okay. Okay. I, no beef with this dude. It's a good team. I'm so sad I have not ran into Ampharos. Or even someone using Ampharos. I mean, that would make me sad because then I would want it. But I have not ran into it. At all. It's a rock. <laughs> great for that. So many classics from that episode. <clears throat> no, good. Appreciate you, though, man. Thank you for the encouragement. You know what? I'm gonna catch him. Cause he was a lot he showed up at the end. We're gonna give him a home. Hey, when I fall for that, we're here. All right, 
I want to see what that Metagross moveset is, and if his moveset is decent, I can get it up a couple of levels and add it to the team. Because why not? It'll be a six member. Alright, fam. What is your moveset? Flame will count. Yeah. It ain't great. It ain't bad, but this moveset isn't great. Um, Psycho Boost, sig Signal Beam, Size and Toss Fake Tears. Not bad. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. So I'm trying to see if there's anybody with, like, a decent moveset I can level up. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Let me check box real quick. See if there's any hidden gems here. No. Nope. Nope. Okay. Bones? Use it? This feels like a moveset Raikou would have just normally. There's nothing wrong with that. I just found it funny. I mean, my boy for Alligator got Thunder Punch. And I ain't gonna last pretty well. Ashley, what's going on? How are you? So good to see you. Do a shout out to my buddy Ash Gator. How's it going? Folks, if you're not following Ash Gator, do so. She's playing The Witcher 3 for an awesome stream. Be sure to give her a follow, check out her channel. Good to see you here. How are you? We're just hanging out. We're doing a finale of uh, Pokemon Fire at Randomizer. So I'm almost done. Um, but almost done, pretty much done. I just gotta beat the Elite Four. Um, and then the champion himself. We're just looking to see if there's any, like, hidden gems I wanna get. The only one I kinda saw, I mean, I could get Star, you know, Sky Attack. Not, I could get Star Me, who, you know, is Pimp. But, you know, it's, it's, eh. I don't know. Mark actually has a good moveset. I probably would never use it though. Psyduck has, why the hell does Psyduck have Sacred Fire? What? <laughs> what? Thank you. Doing well? Oh, good to hear. I'm glad you're doing well. Happy Sunday. Nobody here, maybe except you, has a decent move for Alligator, and I'm sad about that. Phoebus, I'm not going to get, because it won't be in my life. I mean, freaking it was Earthquake, though. It was just amazing. Eruption, Curse. Uh, Self-destruct. Damn, Puffer. Self-destruct. I would freaking use Jirashi. I am debating it. I kind of want Jirachi just to have it on the team. Oh, is decent. I'm trying to stick with my no legendary rule, though. So. Toro's actually... Toro's got a decent moveset. I'm just trying to check out the box to see. Doom, why the hell do you have Doom Desire? Seal has Jump Kick. Sceptile was the man. I didn't use it, but I might. You know what? Yeah, we'll go with that. Alright, I'm not going to level up Sceptile to 60. Um, but not. Actually, you know what? It could take down Lance if I needed to. And we got some time, so why not? There's only 20 levels. That way I can talk to chat and hang out while I do that. So yeah, there's going to be a squad to take down the Elite Four. Um, honestly, I don't really, like, have any fears. I'm um, tempted to get them all 69 for the memes. Uh, and I might do that. <laughs> but yeah, I don't really have any like fears or worries about the team. Um, you know, everybody's pretty much like mini demigods. I mean, Dragonite, La Dragonite Lapras and Electabuzz, and even Salamence by themselves can beat it. Um, Blaziken might be needed for a couple matches just because of his moveset. 
Um, and really, Sceptile is probably just needed for Lance. If anything. Just a little bit. Okay. I try not to speed up the noise too much because that noise is just a mess. But <laughs> Alright, ten more levels. Yeah, I, you know it was bleeding that section. Okay, nah, you're good, buddy. Your move set is fine. Okay, this will be the squad going in. Yeah, I was telling people, another Pokemon um, hack I want to do is Pokemon Cl Clear Crystal. It is really good with the amount of stuff you can do in it. You can change, like, your character's bag items, skin tones. Like, I saw it and was like, I definitely want to do that. So, uh, we'll be checking that out in the future. Probably not, like, right away because I just finished this. And Scott Pilgrim's coming up. And there's a couple of other retro games I want to play. And, of course, Spelunky will be back. I felt so bad. I was like, I could do Spunky today, but I really want to finish Pokemon. And, like, I was like, I can always do a Spunky stream next week. Um, with, like, a little makeup. Swagger. And one more. And Sceptile. Welcome to the squad, fam. It's actually a decent team. Alright, let's get some healing items. I doubt we really need them, but, you know, things like... Vibes, I mean, I just want non to have uh, 30. Uh, heal. That works. Full store. Sure. Alright. Let's do this, y'all. Now, I'm gonna start off with Dragonite because it has the most diverse moveset, and then from there, we'll just put everybody else in. Let's go, Lorelei. Now, I absolutely love that about Gen 3. The little uh, battle animations that pop up with your character in Elite Four. Super cool. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't try to do that. Okay. See, I could have just did that and been done. I tried to hit it with Stomp and be cute, and that did me the butt. Undo. Um, the other thing is, I don't have a lot of elixir, but that's okay. I can also teach somebody else real quick. Um, so I don't have Dragonite doing it too much. See you. Oh, it's charging up, getting them batteries ready. That stage of your legacy. Shame. <laughs> Him only. Um, I'm bring Dragonite out for that. Cause I can just hit it with fly. Would be sad. Inner focus. Inner focus is such an underrated uh, ability. Like I did not appreciate it until I started playing this. Cause like, there's been so many moves trying to flinch, and it just it did not work. I respect that. Um, there we go. 
Also, do not realize the person with this art. <laughs> y'all could y'all could kinda see it. <laughs> now I moved my laptop up, um, so the my the mouse must have just went up, I didn't see it. I was so focused on that battle, so sorry about that. <laughs> Yeah, I think stop. Are you freaking? Alright, I know Arcanon is a little tanky, but come on. I should have just went for the damn kill. Thank you. So mad at myself for that. <laughs> Things shouldn't be this way. Sorry, Lorelei. I had to do it to him. All right, Bruno. Bruno, honestly, is one of my favorite Elite Four members. Uh, he just looks cool. You know, he reminds me of, like a fighting game character. Um, kind of like a mix of like Blanca and uh, like Ryu. Take naps all the time. <laughs> right, well, we gotta take Dragon Head out and sub it back in. That's cool. That's easy. Watch your balls. Go do your thing, homie. Get that win. Are you freaking kidding me, Electric Buzz? No, no. They have, like, not missed. So that's why I was like, we got it. Thank you. Drum. Oh no. The psychic, bruh. It's over. I gotta respect the belly drum, though. That was, that was a ballsy move. Straight up. Alright, Agatha. What's going on? I got her sister's Bertha in Gen 4 is really like cool. And also her beef with Professor Oak. <laughs> it is also funny as hell to see why fans speculate on that. That was one of my favorite things from like uh, Gen 1. It was just 
you know, Professor Oak is loved by everybody. And then you get one person who's like, nah, he uh, he got soft. I'm like, all right. <laughs> like, everybody universally loves Professor Oak. No beef. Except Agra. <laughs> it Okay. But when I do that, I lose half my health. Gotcha, game. <laughs> Masquerade does that. Low scratch. Septile. Let's go. Respect it. I have a septile too. Septile buddies. And it does spike. So. Oh, that's not good. It's not horrible, but you know, still don't want the team to take damage. This, I'll just hit an earthquake. No, like, shockingly, uh, like, wild Pokemon. I was expecting somebody to have, like, Legends or uh, something insane. But pretty much the standard course. I mean, I, you know, you see a Sceptile, and that's pretty cool. Talo. Right, no Talo Slander, but come on. I do like it as a Pokemon. Like, Talo Swallow cool. It's not my favorite of the birds. I think that has to go to Starly. The Star Raptor in that entire line is just A+. Hmm. I think I'm going to look if I need it. Or, like, honestly, I'll just teach uh, somebody else how to play. Now, I know she's going to heal. Oh, is it a critical hit on me? Oh, yeah. She's definitely still gonna heal. So I'm not gonna risk it. Oh. She did not heal? Okay. That's fine. I'd rather be safe than sorry, because you know, saves us a whole turn. He's out here living his best life, though. Right? I got my respect for Prince, so... Okay. Um, I do have an elixir. I got a Dragonite. I also got a Max Elixir, too, so... Use that for me. Why can't I go through doors? Alright. We're gonna need a lot of energy for this, because even in a randomizer, this is still lands. Um, what up? Sorry, I don't know what it is. The Pokemon themes just sound so good, I guess. Uh, trio. Like, trio has, like, one of my favorite sprites in this game because they all look pissed off. Like, it's just the art in this game is so cool. Like, they look angry as F. Like, they are super pissed. Alright, uh, let's this one. Big out Here you go, bud. In a focus for you. That. Which now has become one of my favorite abilities. We full of stories, zigzag goons. That's what we're doing, right? One HP. Look, look how tall zigzag goons is. You gotta respect it. I mean, with that one HP cheese, like, nah, I, I ain't dying. I'm not dying. Alright. <laughs> Wish cash. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just sitting there. I'm like, is he gonna freaking one HP? Um, is he gonna not one HP? Is he gonna uh, you know, four stars exactly? I gotta respect that. That is ballsy. Also, why super fan? That four star used to hurt if you didn't grind back then. The worst was when Cynthia would use it. Um, with her guard chop in like Gen 4, which I still hate that thing. Um, I fought against it recently and I, don't, I still don't like it. It's still an absolute demon. But uh, yeah, with Lance, the thing about Lance is like 
his fight in Gen 1 is tough, but I think it's even tougher in Gen 2. Uh, for some reason. Especially since, like, you know, the transition to the Elite Four from 8th Gym. Like, I didn't have to grind a lot, but I did do some grinding. He's locking on the target. Why is everybody hanging on with 1 HP? What is this? It's, oh my god. Don't tell me, Scarlet. Oh, you Lance would be the only one of this damn Elite Four to get me that mad where I had to use speed up. <laughs> Fine. He's making it competitive. He's absolutely making it competitive. Survive, survive. There we go. This, see, this is why I can never do a nuzlocke because I kind of play like very dangerously when it gets to low levels. I'm like, ah, it'll be alright. No worries. But there's been some close calls in this. <laughs> like, for people saying, would you ever do a nuzlocke? The answer is maybe, but not really. Also, this was like the biggest like slap in the face when like you did it. It's like, oh yeah, you were the champion, but you would have been your rival got here before. Man, he went the opposite direction. <laughs> I didn't see him in Victory Road. I don't know if he like flew here or whatever, but that was bugging. Anyway, this is the team we're going in with. Honestly, the blue fight is gonna be like a cakewalk unless he got some like really, really strong Pokemon. But from that last rival fight, I was not impressed. So, I, by the way, I gotta say, this stadium right here and these designs look really cool. Like, especially for the GBA era, because uh, I, I feel like GBA did a lot of cool things visually, but kind of just seeing this and how cool it looked, I kind of still wish he had, like, the Bulldog statues from Gen 1, but I do like this. This looks so nice. Um, it was just something about the stadium and the blue, like the little uh, lights. A+. plus. And I'm not gonna lie, his theme is epic. This is when Game Freak started teasing the pianos of Sinnoh. They were like, oh yeah, we're gonna go really ham on pianos. <laughs> the four star in Sparrows and Zigzag was only in a randomizer. Also, bro, make this a fair. What are you doing? Thank you. And, uh, okay, alright. There we go. Now it's getting respected. I'm seeing a Montiana here. Do I need this always dance on my ass? Mariana has already good defense on top of that. Alright, one more. Peace out. There should be no way this thing survives this, even with high defense. Good. I was like, I saw his dance twice, though. <laughs> the Dragonite alone swept this team. It's kind of cool, but also sad. Alright, 
Two more left. Make that a one of our man. <laughs> Got a decent team. It's just you could have evolved all those cool Pokemon. We did it. We did it. Right, we beat him. We got great. We got praise from his grandfather. He disappointed him. That, that's sad. Like, it's bad enough you lose your title, but then you, imagine like your grandparent or like your parent or somebody you love is coming in and be like, you know, you had the title, you lost it, and you forgot the golden rules, and now my real grandson Red is champion. <laughs> he just left. Look, he just leaves him there. That's sad. I, I kind of felt bad for Boo because people were dunking on him. And, my dude didn't even chance to celebrate. Like, by the time he got the title, he had it for two minutes, and I showed up. There we go. All right, so it's time for my favorite moment of any randomizer. is when I give away awards and nicknames to everybody. So I love doing this. All right, MVP, Dragonite. Like, hands down. Electric Buzz, I'm going to give Offensive Player of the Year. Blaziken, I'm going to give Defensive Player of the Year. Salamence, uh, I probably will give, like, Defensive Ball. I'm going to give uh, Lapras the Jack of Trades Awards. Except time, I'm give you Rookie of the Year. Because you just showed up and didn't really do anything. So you were awesome. And I respect it. But that grandpa be an asshole, too. <laughs> you know what, though? Oka's the GOAT. Like, Oka's, Oka's my favorite professor. Like, I love Oak. Like, I think Oak and Elm are my two favorite. Birch is cool. Uh, I love Juniper. Um, Rowan is just a mean person. <laughs> uh, Juniper's cool. Sycamore, I... I, I he's alright. Gen 6. Uh, I for, I, damn, I forgot who's professor in 7. Oh, um... What's his name? Cuckoo. Yeah, he's cool. Um, and then Gen 8. Oh, it's Sonya's grandmother. I, I like Sonya, so... So yeah, the process is alright. But there we go. We did it. He just leaves, he runs. Oh, looks in disgust. He praises me as his new grandson. He walks away. I sit there on top of the Pokemon world as their champion. You love to see it. Alright, we did it, y'all. We'll let the credits roll. I'll talk about why. I love this game, and I want to do a randomizer of it. Shout out to Masuda, the homie, the GOAT, one of my favorites. Ken Tamori, Hiro Miyamoto, okay. Nabe. You know you're a Pokemon fan when you just kind of recognize these names. <laughs> like, you just know them off the bat. You really do. program now, okay. No. Oh yeah, I forgot. Sigmore can't yeah he did do the graphics for that. Go Ichi knows. Masuda did the music for this? I mean that makes sense. Yeah, Go Ichi knows has been going ham for Pokemon for a while. I love this by the way. This was such a cool nod to like Gen 1. Uh, when they had that. Yeah, he's most sorry. He's here, so Jerry did that. So many cool designers. Like, honestly, that's why I like the Fire Team. Because I feel like they put so much effort into it. There's a lot of details in this game. Um, I 
yeah, I love these games so much. I want to do a randomizer because I thought it was fun. I was like kind of going back, and like as much as I love playing the original Gen One, I kind of like the remix, at least randomizer wise, a bit more because it's fun to just check out and do. Um, Super Mario Club. Thanks. Oh. So many cool people. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, they have the bro. Yeah, they have that for the islands where you do post game stuff. That's always so cool. But yeah, these games are fun. I kind of really want to do a randomizer for it and check it out because it's, it's always fun to visit. Let's see. Um, I love these games a lot. Like I know people sometimes are on the fence about remakes, but these in particular, next to Heart Gold and Soul Silver, um, are like some of my favorite remakes personally. Oh, Iwata! I miss him. I, I really miss Iwata. He's so great. One of my personal heroes. I, I, I miss him daily. Like, he really... Like, just on a deep note, he was just kind of one of the faces of Nintendo. Um, with Miyamoto, Reggie, and Iwata, they were kind of like the big three for me. Um, and also, you know, Masuda too. Um, but at least of the three we saw a lot. Uh, it was always those three at like E3s and stuff. But Iwata would do the directs, and he was so kind, and like, you know, I always loved when he was like, whenever there was a delay, he'd be like, please understand, and it was so sweet in terms of just like communicating with fans, and I, I miss him. He was just such a cool dude. I bought his book, um, it's like a little autobiography I think they have. It's coming out in May. I pre-ordered it like early last year. It was like during the summer, um, but it was like Iwata says, because he used to do that, I think, in maybe the Nintendo Powers, or like he had a series he did on his own. Um, but I wanted that, like as a gamer, I wanted that for my collection. Uh, but also, just in memory of him, it meant a lot. So, that was really cool. Yen! Alright, sweet. So we'll take one final look at our team before we wrap up. That is it, y'all. We did it. We're here. I think Oak might want to talk to us for a little bit. Oh no, I don't have the 60, so he's not. I mean, I have the national deck, so he doesn't need to give this to me. But yeah, we only got 47. That's alright. Cool. Let's talk to our mom. Let's check out our team, and then we'll wrap it up from here. Cool. Ba -ba -ba. So yeah, Dragonite was just MVP um, overall. This moveset is so good, and it did a hell of a job. It pretty much almost swept the entire Leaf 4 by itself. It had support from the team, but um, Dragonite just did his damn thing, and I love it. Like, it's so good. Alleged Buzz is really good. It's kind of like one of the mid additions to the team, but overall, I didn't even use half of his power. That's kind of how stacked this team was. Um, like, it just really looks like... I kind of wish it had the moveset IRL. I know you can teach it Shockwave, Psychic. I think it can learn Crunch. Blast Burner definitely can't. But that's why I love Electro Buzz. Like, I tell people it's a super underrated Pokemon. Because it is really versatile. Really good physical and special attacker. Um, and overall, just... I vibe with it. Like, it looks really good. So... His defense is a little shaky at times. And his speed is super solid. So that's why I highly recommend... Electro Buzz, anybody. Um, I am a Team Ampharos guy, but since Ampharos in a base game is not in Fire Red when you catch it, um, I use Electro Buzz. Blaziken, I, I can go on for hours about Blaziken. This is great, but his moveset was good. We didn't even use it once during Elite Four, but if we did, it, look at this. Absolute demon. Um, <laughs> Salaman, same. You know, just, I would say like co MVP with, with Dragonite. It helped us out at the beginning um, and really just kind of dominate it. Lapras really is just kind of like Mrs. Do It All. Um, she wasn't really used, but if so, if were used, would have been great. Overall, no question. Like, just absolute, absolute queen. Septile. Um, we kind of just bought him in just in case we needed him. Turns out we didn't, but this moveset is really good. Um,. I probably will get rid of Sludge and the Ancient Power, but Ice Beam and Aurora Beam are really good. So, 
that was a squad. I had fun. Um, special shout out to Blastoise, who's in the PC. It was supposed to be six member of the team, but other things gonna happen. So let me save my game. Save up. And then I'll kind of talk about uh, just things going forward, what games are going to be put on the channel before I wrap up. So, this upcoming week, a lot is happening, which is great. Sky Pilgrim comes out Thursday, and I'll be streaming that on Thursday when it releases. I do have work on Thursday, so that'll probably be like a traditional afternoon stream. Uh, maybe at our usual time, 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. Um, I'll post it in the Discord so people know, because I kind of made the schedule in advance, and it'll be posted after I finish up today's stream. In terms of before Scott Pilgrim gets here, what are we going to do? Well, Monday, I definitely want to check out Hyper Dragon Ball Z. I think that'll be fun for peeps to check out and watch. Um, we'll do Sonic Fighters on Tuesday because I got it for GameCube. And we'll also test out some GameCube games. Because uh, Sonic Fighters is great, but it's kind of a short game. And I want to make that at least a two to two and a half hour stream. Um, in terms of everything else, Wednesday will be my day off. So no stream on Wednesday. Thursday will be Scott Pilgrim. Uh, so we'll have that going. Friday will also be Scott Pilgrim, depending on if we finish. If we finish it, then we'll play something else. Maybe Melee or something like that. If not, we'll have Scott Pilgrim. But that'll be most likely a short stream. Saturday, Miles and I are going to co-stream Scott Pilgrim together. Um, thankfully, it has internet support. So we're able to, on our Nintendo Switches, be able to play together and have that going. So we'll have that. And then Sunday, I promise y'all, will be Sunday morning Splunky. I know I said it this week was supposed to be Sunday morning Spunky. Apologies, I really, really wanted to finish Pokemon because I didn't want to have that leaning over going into the week since I do have plans for Monday. So let me do one more safety save. And that'll be it, y'all. I'm going to end here. A uh, bit of a shorter stream today because I just really want to do the finale. Um, and I kind of got to get some stuff going. Special note, though, Tuesday might be a bit of a later stream because I have to record GameCast. Uh, we, we're not able to do it tonight. We usually record on Sundays, but something came up. So uh, Tuesday is looking like the day we might do it. And depending on the time the rest of the squad is free, um, I'll stream as soon as we finish. And that will most likely uh, be either a Melee stream or a GBA stream, or you know we'll have something going. But definitely Tuesday will be set. So thank you everybody for being here. Um, I see if anybody's live. Turbo, what's up? How's it going? I can say hi to Turbo for a little bit before we go. Did you catch it at the end? Yeah, we are. We're about to finish up, but I can show you the team real quick. We just finished up. We beat like pretty much everybody uh, in the Elite Four, which is nice. But I'll show you the team just because they can get one more, uh, one more, one more uh, limelight. So there we go. Um, Dragonite was the MVP. That was the nickname for it. It pretty much just did everything for us, and we beat everybody. Um, Electric Buzz, really, really awesome moveset. Like, I was gushing about this Pokemon. I like it IRL. Um, it is probably my second favorite Electric type after Ampharos, because it's so cool. Blaziken, I mean, we didn't really use it that much towards the main battles, but his moveset is absolutely great. Like, I think it has, next to Dragonite, the best moveset on the team. Um, because it pretty much covers every type and is super strong and fast. Um, look, look at those stats. Like, special attack is insane. Speed is really good. Attack is wild. Defense isn't that bad. Special defense is decent. Salamence did his absolute thing. Um, Carmine with this thing is a cheat code. The only thing that sucks is it has strength, but strength honestly isn't too bad. And Lapras, I call her uh, Mrs. Do-It-All. Um, Surf, Magical Leaf, Spark, and High Jump Kick. Just legit um, covers everything. And then last but not least, Sceptile. Didn't really use him too much, but has a decent moveset and cover a lot of his pitch. So that was just the team. Um, the reason why I didn't do any post-game stuff is because there really isn't that much to do since like, I can't really trade to um, Ruby Sapphire, so that's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much it for the day um but i want to thank everybody for hanging out like i said before i will definitely be back tomorrow with some hyper dragon ball z i'm gonna get some more training on before i stream it um i was talking to the developers that really made the game too they're super nice like they're really kind people um and i was chatting with them on twitter for a bit so that was pretty cool but i'm gonna wrap up here i'm gonna go do some stuff um hang out enjoy my sunday but i hope you all have a lovely sunday take care of yourselves 
keep being awesome. Let me see who is live. I can probably drop a raid with somebody. Alright, let's drop a raid on Trisha Hershberger. She's awesome. She's playing some Cyberpunk 2077. Um, just to let y'all know, that is a rated M for Mature Game. So you might hear some cursing in it and some other stuff. Um, also, if you're playing Cyberpunk, I think she's pretty far in the game. So if you don't want spoilers, you can dip out before the raid starts. Um, that way you won't be spoiled on anything. But say hi to Trisha. She's awesome. Really nice person. One of my favorite content creators. And just a really awesome human being. Uh, so check her out. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Keep being awesome. Peace.